Hello and welcome to this Studio Brutal tutorial on how to make this minimal techno beat. You can hear in the background that click house early 2000s sound. Uh, this uses 808 samples, you can get them in the description below, they're absolutely free. They're a set that I process myself. So yeah, go and get those so you can follow along. And yeah, please when you're there, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thanks a lot. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, Basically, first of all, there's a couple of principles, really. Um, Ableton had really just was just getting big at this time, and I think it had, had, had not even, was, I don't think you could even use VSTs in it. So, pe so people were just using the built-in effects and samplers and uh, just making them over-processing, over-automating them to get these mad sounds and over-using the swing and over-using the grain delay to get these big builds, and that's... Um, that's, that's their real characteristics of the sound um, and also like triplet sounds let me show you um, so like this there's a there's a once there's sixteenth notes here but then there's, there's if you right click and go triplet grid you could just put in extra little notes that just make it real much glitchier Uh, especially like here, I'll show you with these hi hats. Um, where are they? Those little triplet. Uh, yeah, I spoke over it. Yeah, you can you know, those little glitches, and then also this uh, this groove. Um, adding a lot of shuffle here. I've got uh, well, this SB1200 swing, but you want swing and to whack it up quite high. I'll turn it up. Probably don't want it that high. But I set it at 35%, and with a kick, that shuffle and those triplets and those 16th notes are a big uh, signature of the sound. Um, Um, what else? Using all the Ableton effects to like to cause glitches, um, ping, pong, ping pong delays, uh, grain delays. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, uh, a massive part of it. And in this, there's no synthesis in the um, in this patch that you can hear now. Obviously, people use synthesis in minimal techno, but this is just an 808 patch, and everything is just tweaked in sampler to make it sound like this. Uh, I did it on purpose, obviously people didn't do that at the time, but I did it on purpose to sort of show what you can do with Ableton and the samplers and just processing sounds. So every sound you hear is an 808 from an 808, um, so you've heard all the sounds before and I've just processed them uh, sort of to make that sort of statement as to, as to how Ableton was used back then. Um, I'll just show you this patch, this is a, kind of a, a feature of the, of the sound, so basically what I've done it's, this is just an 808 cowbell. Let me just loop it. There. So it's just an 808 cowbell. It's pitched down a bit, but it's looping, okay? And if I switch the modulation off, it's just looping and a bit delayed. And if I move the loop, it's set up to loop here. If you're on sustain mode. And if I move the loop, down it does that and so what, I, what I've done is I've set up the modulation here like a ramp envelope uh, to affect loop length so it just does that automatically across this long note and this is the feature of, uh, of like minimal techno like this just sort of getting glitches out of everything just over tweaking and over using Ableton uh, to make everything just go a bit too far into glitch land and then um, and I really like I really like it I really liked it at the time I quite like it now as well um, looking back on it the best records are awesome uh, but yeah and then again here I've taken pitch and added that to the same modulation as well if I do it the other way you get that really sort of ratcheting um, really cool sound I've used that a lot in this um, in this uh, beat, but yeah, I'll run through the channels now so you can see um, what every sound does. But that is it, and I think with this sound as well, automation is a big part of it. So, like, you just take off, um, you know, you just tweak everything into oblivion.
keep everything moving and just automate everything into like loads of feedback and stuff so yeah i'll just run through the channels it's a real simple first one a to eight kick a bit of processing the set by the way i'll link to the article below that's got all the settings i'll probably just give away this file you know yeah i'll just link to the i'll add the file as well and um yeah you can just go and download that and there'll be an article with screenshots so i can just run through this real quick um but yeah uh, I'll, i don't need to show you all the settings it's basically drum bus processed and eq'd um for the kick and then for the bass i've taken a different 808 sample and i've and i've cut that that um aggressive start out of it and then looped it so it goes loops backwards and forwards so you can hear like a little suction on it if you know what I mean uh, as it sort of reverses as it's looped and it's, it just turns into a sub bass but weird you, the, the, the key with this sound is to make everything a bit weirder than it should be if you know what I mean so yeah so the, the kick drum plays forward then backwards uh, you'll need good headphones to hear that because it is quite low and then closed hat this uses the grain delay obviously the drum bus wasn't around uh, in Ableton at that time but the grain delay is a massive feature and ping pong delay which I've got both on here uh, and the grain delay is this crazy delay but you can automate everything on it so um, uh, so yeah anyway so the grain delay is making it is making this sound if I take it off it's just a normal 808 closed hat that's why I've used 808 so you can you can tell what's happening. Um, obviously you can use synthesis as well uh, and then add this to it. But if I did it on the video you wouldn't know what was the synthesis and what was the effects processing. So yeah, and then um, with here you can go you can go nuts and people they'd automate it and just turn the feedback up and automate the spray as well and turn it into madness before smashing it back in. And that's sort of that's that's a big part of that um, the sound. So yeah, so so I've got grain delay. The pitch on the grain delay is really good. So you can make it so like every repeat is sort of like a fifth or something because it's in semitones, and which obviously is um, uh, it's all right on hi hats, but on a chord or something, it's really interesting. Um, and then a ping pong delay. So when you whack the feedback up, which you get sort of massive stereo uh, build um, and yeah that's just a normal AOI hat like I said processed over processed um, in Ableton normal 808 clap with a lot of reverb doesn't need much explaining this one is the the shuffled uh, open hat I showed where I added the triplets and you can just copy in loads of more triplets to make it really glitchy of like a programming jungle breaks you always go too far and then you've got to pull it back a bit um, and then I've done the same with the 808 rim shot uh, is that rim shot no it's not but um, it's the uh, um, don't know what I've called it rim shot but yeah it's uh, it's this has got that um, loop length automation on it as well so that if you put release up should um, it just sounds it just gives you that extra glitch as the loop length uh, glitches up don't need it on I'm going to take that off but yeah um, so yeah that is that's that shuffled triplets loads of notes on so you just it just sounds a bit it just sounds off but rhythmical And then the cowbell, that is another one where I've, where I've put in the um, that modulation with the pitch and the loop length. And you can tweak it. So, And if you let the length off, it will just go nuts. But I will, I will show you tweaking that in a minute. Uh, simple 808 sound. And then another cowbell. It's not, sorry, that's not a cowbell, it's a conga. Again, and it sounds like it's underwater this one and that is just from this this pitch modulation looping it turning the loop into a tone and adding pitch modulation as well same one for this without the modulation it just sounds like this it's just a conga but I've looped it 
uh, and then tweaked the modulated the loop length just using what you have to go nuts oh, and also it's got sorry this one as well it's got crush on it bit crush a bit reduction which is a big part of the, the um, making it all sound a bit off I'll put it back on yeah you can hear that it's, it's, a, it's a really nice sound uh, this is a cowbell obviously you know what a cowbell sounds like sounds like that it's looped but then when I make it when I take when I put the modulation on this is the one I showed you at the start it does that so yeah and then with Ableton you've got all these um, these clips as well modulation options and automation options that we, that we heavily used uh, like uh, like I said if I take the release off and just tweak it you know and tweak it like that and uh, yeah that's that's how you do it basically um, let me just put that back tweaking envelopes uh, using loop length and just automating everything and tweaking it so it goes into an absolute mess and then comes back slamming um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for this. Uh, I could, I really enjoyed making this. I haven't really made anything like this before, and I'm well into it at the time. Uh, so I probably will do more like this. But yeah, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, I should do another one with synthesis in it and uh, you know, producing sounds from scratch. But I wanted to do it as like a concept with just the 808, so you could hear what the sampler and the, and the loop length processing was actually doing, because you'd already know the sounds, what they sound like. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Please let me know how you get on in the comments and get all the free stuff in the description and uh, please like and subscribe as well. So yeah, that's it from me. Um, good luck with your music making and have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.